Hey guys, it's Randomizer, Gamerdiz, or Crazy Cuber here, and today we're gonna to be reviewing District Taco. More like disgusting taco, because this place is this place is pretty disgusting and it's really not worth going to, especially in the area. So um by the way, uh, just to start off, or just one thing to mention, I'm only gonna so the only district taco I'm gonna be reviewing is in the King of Prussia Town Center Village Drive. So that's the only location I'm gonna be reviewing. I haven't been to any other district taco, so maybe it could be better, could be worse, but just take my word on this location that I've been to. So uh, I was biking, I was biking through the, um, so I was biking through the Chester Valley Trail um, to the, um, to go to the, um, I was going to the Chester Valley Trail and then I went uh, past like, past lifetime fitness and then I turned and then I turned um then I turned left to the king to then I turned left to the king of Prussia town center uh and then I lay my and then I laid my eyes upon district taco I, and one thing to mention one thing to mention first of all one thing to mention first of all is that I had I had around 10 bucks so I was carrying around 10 bucks with me and um and also I'm um, and also I was biking by the way so uh, forgot to so I forgot to mention I was biking so uh, I was being a biker boy today and biked to the KOP Town Center the KOP Town Center Village Drive and I was carrying around 10 I was carrying around ten dollars with me yeah ten, yeah ten dollars yeah so I was carrying around that much with me and I went to District Taco and when I and then when I first came in, I noticed that there was no shrimp taco on the menu. So there's no shrimp tacos on the menu, which honestly made absolutely no sense to me. I think they should add, I really think they should, I really think they should have added, you know, they should have a shrimp taco on the menu. Maybe it's for health reasons, but shrimp tacos, shrimp tacos, the shrimp taco is arguably one of the most picked, one of the most favorited tacos ever. Like in the whole world, the shrimp taco is one of the most is one of the most favorite tacos in the world. So the fact that they didn't have it on their menu kind of kind of off put me. It, it kind of threw me off a lot. Well, a lot, you know, yeah, a lot's an understatement. It threw me off like really bad. And um, so I ordered a fish taco. The price was ten dollars. So it was pretty much all my money. Yeah, it was basically all my money, and um, you know, I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even afford drinks with it. And by the way, um, by the way, the drinks, the drinks were, pr the drinks were dummy expensive. Um, I don't know the exact price, but uh, you know, drinks should be like maybe I don't know under under two dollars. But the fact that I couldn't afford a drink with my ten dollar taco, and I think I was carrying around ten to thirteen bucks. Yeah, drinks were definitely over three bucks. Um, if if I if I have to be guessing, um, the di I think ch check out the District Taco menu. You could just you could literally just look up uh, District Taco's menu and you could see the prices there, prices there. And um, this is definitely not good for somebody who's on a tight budget. Uh, also, the tacos themselves they're all right, but they're really not that great. Um, it, I didn't really get any oomph. They're very boring. They didn't really fill my tummy up. The way I wanted them to. The tacos were cold. I get it because there's pico de gallo on there, and it makes the taco colder. But honestly, I really and, and any other restaurants a better any other restaurants a better pick. There's Vitality Bowls near the hair cuttery in the KOP Town Center, and while that place it definitely it definitely is um, around fifteen bucks for a uh, a Vita Bowl. It get not only does a it give you more options. B, it's, you know, B, the bowls are more unique. They actually give you excitement when you eat them. And C, they actually fill you up. And, they're, and they have very unique flavors, good flavors. And even though they're expensive, they fill you up. And I think maybe, you know, maybe there's a, possib maybe there's a possibility of you getting a free drink there. I, I, I think you can get a free drink there. And I'll say it has potential too. Then there's Duck Donuts. Then there's Duck Donuts in KOP Town Center. And yeah, and, and Duck Donuts is honestly way better than all the other restaurants there. You know why? Because it's cheap. If you want to get two donuts, it's three dollars and seventy cents. Even though it's a junk food item, it's way better than District Taco because it actually fills your stomach up and gives you excitement when you eat them. District Taco is a bland, boring, disgusting taco restaurant in KOP Town Center, and I don't recommend going there. 
If I had to give it a score, I'd give it a 0.5 out of 2 points. That's the highest I'll ever give this place. District Taco, you let me down. You let me down a long time ago. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Peace out. Later.